course I lost. Oh, right at the right at the sh boat, dude. Make sure you guys can see this guy. Oh, that was a good bite. There she is. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, this is a really good one. Woo! No, it's a PB, dude. morning everyone like I said you guys are gonna become very familiar with this lake it is probably six o'clock on the dot let's see 602 on the dot calm morning it's supposed to be beautiful and you guys don't know this now granted if you watch my Walmart and Dick's video uh, Walmart and Dick's sporting goods video <laughs> um, you would know that I've been looking for a Chapo well I decided to just go with the the bone. I went with bone. I did a vote on Instagram. Not many people voted on it, so I just kind of went with bone. I always hear good things about bone colored lures. I really am curious about the chapo. You guys can see all of the cottonwood still, ugh, still on the top of the surface of the water. So I'm worried about losing lures. So I gotta be careful. It's brutal this morning. It's everywhere. I'm actually just gonna walk this path. See if I can kind of cast out farther and maybe not snag so much of this cottonwood. That's gonna be the word of the day, cottonwood. Big bite went, oh, oh, no. Are you serious? I'm so annoyed. All right, let's try this one out. I bet that was a pike. I mean, it, it cut it. It cut it like a freaking knife. I see a lot of movement still out there, so I'll have to take a peek. There's no wind, fortunately enough. There we go. That feels like a decent one. Stay down. Feels like a decent one. Yeah, I'm telling you, that last one had to be a pike. Stay down. Felt like a decent one. I'll take it. It's almost a pound, I'm sure. We're on the board, finally. Not even a pound, but I'll take it because I've been struggling a little bit this morning. There you go. Thank you, dude. What up, dude? I freaking, I'm pretty sure I had a pike. Took my brand new whopper plopper. <laughs> you good? Um, I have pliers in uh, the zipper pocket that has the uh, st all the stuff on it. You open that one. I'm gonna try this damn buzz bait. This, I'm so over this. God dang it, I was so excited about that plopper. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's get on the boat. All right, so I'm gonna try, so I'm trying this chatter bait out. You got some weeds or a fish? Ooh, that sounds good. That's a good one, dude. Nice. And what I love about this lake too is they're so feisty. They love to fight in this lake. There you go. A little pound. Not too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually today we're gonna try out, I got some custom ones with us by Fanatic Soft Plastics. Got like a kiwi color. We got the chameleon color. Here's the chameleon. This is the one that I originally wanted. And Fanatics Soft Plastics was so kind to th send them our way with some additional. He did warn me that the, the claws break off a little easier than he expected, so he got a new recipe. I'll watch it. I'll tell, they'll, they'll jump out of the water after those. 
Yeah, it's right here. Come on. No, don't grab my line. You son of a vines, dude. Grab my freaking rods. Are you serious? <laughs> I just I just want to fish. Oh, I have a fish. So, that's the, I mean, I Oh. To the live one. There we go. Look at big shocker. You have cottonwood stuck to your eye, bud. Oh, that's not a fish. That's a log. It's lifting. Oh, nope. That's all right. Oh. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my God, a log. Are you serious? <laughs> the fucking morning. Dude, for real, for real dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking pulling a goddamn tree, dude. <laughs> Refraction. <laughs> it looks like it's closer than it really is. Oh my god, it was barely. <laughs> oh man, is it my shirt that I'm wearing today? Is it? <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> what an absolute silly morning bro we're catching everything or i'm catching everything but fish we've had some success and <laughs> we've had two dinks <laughs> i can't believe you cooked them. i you know just, like, tied on yeah, yeah. Somehow, like, the, somehow the line i don't know dude that's just story of my life right now this morning <laughs> all right i need to i need to take this hoodie off They were active this morning though. I had, before you came out, I was like getting jumped on constantly. And of course I lost. Oh, right at the, right at the sh boat, dude. And that's a good one. Big one, dude. Oh gosh. That's a big fish. Oh boy. Where's your, did you get your net? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, do not kick it. Do not kick it. Do not kick it. I'm stuck in my backpack. Do not kick it. That's a good bass. Oh my gosh. Shamu. Shamu. <laughs> we caught. Shamu. Dude, this is a big bass. That is a big bass. You have sharp teeth. Finally, a big fish, man. That was next to the boat, too. I was about to lift it up out of. I was about to lift it up out of the water. Dip right into it. I know, seriously. Do it one more time. Two six, two eight. There we go. Yes, yeah, on the scale, man. There we go. Oh, and I have the red cable there, so that was probably blocked for you guys. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, golly. Thank you. Make sure you guys can see this guy. Two eight. All right, there she is. Two eight. Finally. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, did I need that. On that cast too, I was like, you know what? If I don't catch anything on this one, it's gonna be plopper time. I don't know how much of this video you're gonna see up to this point, but I want you guys to know that we have not caught a fish in like an hour. Yeah, we've caught, <laughs> yeah, we've caught logs. We've caught cottonwood. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Seems like a good one too. Stay down. It's gonna pull us in. Where are you? I can't see you. Decent one. Oh gosh. Get over here. There we go. Nice little pound and a half. You're fat though, bud. I'll take it. Are you guys waking up? Are you guys just waking up? Is that what's been the issue? 
You guys have been asleep this entire time? Whew. Yeah, we were out here early. Whew. Thank you. Man, there's nothing more rewarding to seeing a fish come up and just grab your your top water. Dude, it's so good. All right, we're gonna go back to the Fanatic soft plastics here. I wanna give it a better shot. Oh, that's a fish. That's a good one too. Stay down. That's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. This is a really good one. Where are you? You're a seaweed bass. No, nope. do not want to lose my fishing poles. No, it's PB, dude. This is a good bass. This is a really good bass. This is a really, really good bass. Including the seaweed on the Fanatics on plastic. Dude, this is fatty. This is an absolute fatty. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a PB. This is like three something. This is three something. It's gotta be three something. Make sure you guys can see him. Throwing right into that grass. And that's where he was. He was just hanging out in those grass. All right, come on. Oh, three pounds exactly. Three pounds. Nice. Three pounds exactly. Almost PB. I have a th the last one I caught here that was my PB was 3-1. Yeah, 215. So he's probably three pounds. So let's see. Let's try this guy out. Let's try this guy out. We haven't tried this one out yet. Do not flop off, dude. All right. Let's see. Yeah, three pounds. 3.04, three pounds. Yep. Nice. I'll take her. Whew. Make sure you guys... That is a good fish. All right. Let's watch him leave. Make sure you guys can see him. Caught on the Fanatic soft plastic. The chameleon craw, baby. <sighs> that brings life. Whew, God, that was a good fish. Yeah. I'm telling you, you have them though. They're in here. You got one? Let's go. Oh, I think I got one too. We just doubled up, doubled up. Stay down. I did not hook set him very hard, so. Mine too. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, he's in. Did we just doubled up? Oh, you got rid of him. We had to, we had to have a double up. Oh man, my guy just swallowed my craw though. I'm telling you dude, this is why, this is why you got, look it. That's why you gotta use a craw. All right, after a little bit of surgery, he's probably a pound and a half. Hopefully he's good, he's taken off. Oh, my hand is cramped. Good. Got him though. Strong, yeah. <sighs> Dude, I'm telling you, I had to do that. I had to do that with a three pound, and it was like nearly impossible. Yeah. <sighs> well, nice little double up. I didn't get to see yours, but nice little double up. Oh, got one. Oh my gosh, this is a good one, or a decent one, I should say. It's always so hard to tell because they fight so well. Every fish fights really well on this lake. 
Also, I think it's partially the rod. That, yeah, it makes it more fun too. That's a good bass. Dude, how deep is it here? It's like, you would think, yeah, like it looks deep because he's like trying to dive down. Okay. But when the sun comes out, you can the, the base. He's got some weeds on him. Don't you lose it. Don't you shake it. Right here. Thank you. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. I'm leaving you some soft plastics. There you go, guys. Make sure we're recording. We are. That's a two pounder. I'll scale them out. I might as well. Yeah, two pounds. Two pounds. Point, 2 .07, so almost two pounds. Woo! You're lively. I had you barely hooked, too. Thank you, man. Thank you for biting. Make sure you guys can see them. There he is. Beautiful. Thank you, man. There he goes. All right, guys, we're back out on the water. I have 90% battery left. I'm going to find shade. Today is supposed to be a scorcher. And so, like, again, no challenge day, just fishing for fun. I wanted top water. I wanted to use that chopo. And I'm very sad that I lost that chopo. So either somebody's going to find it, that pike's going to lose it, or uh, that pike's going to be found on the, the sh uh, shore and somebody's going to find a chopo in it. But it started off weird. It was a weird... I was like, is it a Monday? Is it a Monday? Like, what's happening? So like I said, Fanatics, dude, it's good craw, man. I mean, this this lake likes craws, but I am not having any issues with uh, the, the claws breaking. I have not had that issue yet. And I've caught decent sized bass too. All right, let's try the buzzbait out a little bit more. That was a good bite. That was a really good bite. That's a really good fish. No. No, 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 no. That was a really good bite, a really good fish. Really good bite, really good fish. Really good bite, really good fish. Oh, let's go. Thank you, dude. Thank you for biting. That was awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what a good bite. Came up like underneath it. Could actually see it swing underneath and grab it. That was an awesome bite. You're a good fish. All right, again with the just casking. I'm actually just trying to use this one out. Get familiar with the, the points. That was a really good bass. Really fun catch. Oh, not on there tight. So one thing I don't like about the gripper is that it doesn't seem like it gets very tight. 2.1. So not, it's just over two or two, 2.1. It's exactly the same. That's very accurate. There she is. Make sure you guys can see her. There she is. Pretty fat, pretty bass. Thank you for coming up and grabbing it. You're going, you're going, you're going. Oh, got me all wet. Nice, that was awesome. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, oh, I had a fish. I have a fish. I have a fish. Okay, well, you guys are tuning in up to that cast, and I threw the I threw the line into the tree, and it must have just plopped right in front of this fish. It's a good one too. It's a decent one for sure. I'm trying to dig down. Can't see him yet. make sure oh. 
This is a good bass. It's wanting to fight. It's definitely, definitely a two pounder for sure. The way that it's fighting. It's trying to pull me into shore. That's when I wish he had a net. Oh, okay. Got him. That was a good bass. Maybe not a two pounder, but it was definitely a lively one pounder. One and a half for sure. He's a little tired. I would be too, man. My hands, my hands tired, man. You fought really well. There we go. Got him. Sweet. There he is. Nice pound and a half, two pounder. He's definitely fat. He's eating. I think he peed on me. There he is. Ah, pound and a half. Thank you, dude. There he goes. Sweet. Oh, something just tried to grab it. Does something have it? Yep. Oh, just pulled it out of their mouth. It was swimming towards the middle of the lake. I was like, does something have it? It's kind of the same thing that happened last time with one of these fish. I wasn't really sure if something had it, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden it was moving to the middle of the lake. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, 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 no. That's a good one. And that was a, hopefully you guys saw that. Oh, bass are jumping too. Behind me. Oh, this is a good one. This could be that three pounder again. I don't know. Not a hundred percent sure. I mean, I am fishing in the same spot, but it's hard to tell. This guy's fighting really well though. This is a good bass. This is a really good bass. Really, really good bass. Oh, it's a good bass. That is a good bass. I wonder if that's the, this is that same three pounder. It looks just as good, just as healthy, just as fat. If not, it's pretty dang close to three pounds. Does he have a, no, he doesn't have a hole in his, no. So this might not be the same fish. Oh, there she is. There she is, let's get a weigh on her. This is probably less than three pounds. This is probably just under, if this is not the same bass, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we are, fit, but I don't see any, yeah, it doesn't have any holes. So I don't think it's the same bass, I just don't. Yeah, no, it's not. Two and a half, almost two and a half. Two six, yep. Yeah, almost two and a half pound bass. I will take it. Sweet, it's been a good day. Again, it's hard to beat that craw. It's a really nice, healthy bass. Thank you, dude. There he goes. Off back to those grasses. Yeah, there's some big ones hiding in there. There are definitely some big bass hiding in there. Again, on the Fanatics craw, I've had a lot of luck with craws in here but still has its claws. They really like the green. All right, well, that was fun. That wasn't too many casts after that last one. So I'll take that. I will take it. They're definitely, they're definitely into these grasses. Again, I don't want to catch the same fish, but if there's fish here, I want to catch them. Gotta catch them all. Zach finds fish. That was a small guy. Feisty. But it's exactly where I thought they'd be hiding. Right underneath that tree. I thought it was a small guy. I think it is. But he is just lively. Man, all of these fish are so lively. So you really have to fight them. All 
All right. Uh, it's not as small as I thought it was. It's, uh, it's probably like almost two pound bass. Good catch. Don't want to get hooked. Thank you. Yeah, these guys, all of these guys are lively though. All of these fish are extremely lively. Heck yeah. That's a two pounder, a uh, pound and a half. Just over a pound and a half, probably close to two pounds. It's a good bass. I'll take it though. Exactly, exactly where I thought he'd be, underneath that tree. I mean, that's exactly where I would be if I knew it's gonna be a hot, scorching Tuesday. So I have a question for you guys. Would you guys rather live on a lake like this? Little quiet, private lake that has loaded two to three pound bass? Or you live like on a public lake that's bigger, kind of more of like you need a boat to travel, but you could potentially catch even bigger fish. But like, you know, you're still catching the dinks, you're still catching the one to two pounders. Would you rather have this lake or would you rather have a public lake, big lake? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, Ooh, nice little jump. Hopefully you guys saw that. I feel like I had him hooked pretty well. I'm not sure. Just don't want him to pull me into where more bass are. That looks like a decent, like one and a half, two pound. See again, it's just that refraction, man. You can't, you can't tell until they're close. That's one and a half, close to two, I'm sure. You weren't getting out right on the roof of the mouth. Thank you for biting. Yeah, one and a half, two pounds. Thank you, thank you. Way solid day. This is a solid, solid day. Again, guys, if you're enjoying this content, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Uh, since this video is going to be posted like th two weeks after I actually fish it, I want to let you guys know. Thank you guys for 1,500 subscribers. I, I guess we're I guess we're officially on the road. I could say we're officially on the road to 2,000. Thank you guys. It's pretty cool. I have had a lot of fun creating this content. I have had a lot of fun fishing. The community, the outdoors community, is just is mind-blowingly supportive. So thank you guys for all the the follows and. I just, it's really cool. It's really cool to see the success we've had here. And again, I am no pro angler. I'm just somebody enjoying fishing, having a good time. And I'm glad you guys are having a good time too. All right, so we're wrapping up the day. Started off really kind of weird, right? We lost the Chapo, which I'm bummed about. I have to go buy another one. Snags. Nonetheless, it ended up being an awesome day. Caught a three pound bass, it's a big one of the day. And it was one ounce shy of my PB. And I, I really do think the more we fish here, the bigger fish we'll find. So, guys, again, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And man, I love this lake. You guys are, I know I keep saying this, but you guys are gonna see a lot of that lake. Peace. What's up is down, what's left is right.